Yes, everyone, what's happening? Stephen Allison back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about how football is completely and utterly broken. Anthony Alanga. Do you know what? Let me just pull up how many games Alanga has got because it's worth looking into. It's a 21 year old player. This is someone that has got uh, 55 appearances for Manchester United. This is someone who's got 12 appearances for his country at 21 years of age. He's going for, well, Everton have made a bid according to Simon Stone, which I would basically just report that as fact, of 15 to 20 million pound. This is a Premier League player with almost two seasons of games, 55 first team appearances for Manchester United, 12 international caps at 21 years of age, coming from one of the biggest Premier League teams in the world. Now, he may be surplus to requirements, but you try and get someone of those credentials anywhere else. Manchester City are about to sell James Trafford, who's played... Where's he played today? Fucking Bolton, for £19 million. Yeah, well, you see, uh, James Trafford's obviously played for England, hasn't he? No. Well, he's obviously played for Manchester City, hasn't he? No. He's played the same amount of games for Bolton as um, Alanga's played for United. In, oh, in League One, that would be. Not the Premier League. So explain to me how Alanga is worth the same. How you've got Fabinho basically should have been going on a free transfer. Jordan Henderson going on a free transfer for 30, 40 million to the Saudi League. And yet we're, we've been offered 15 million. For a 21-year-old international with 55 Manchester United appearances to his name. Liverpool was getting that for Brewster. It's, it's fucking disgusting. Like, here's, There's a few things at play here. One, Manchester United get fucked over when it comes to um, recouping correct valuation for our players. We absolutely do. Two... We don't have competent people that I would trust to get the very best deal. Like, Joe, when Daniel Levy goes, I want a Gordon was 40 million. Thank you. And Newcastle wanted 50 for one of the fucking Longstaff brothers. Why can't Manchester United bring in that sort of stuff, right? When Daniel Levy goes, hey, fuck you, I want 100 million. Guess what? That player doesn't leave or he's played, uh, paid 100 million. Mikey says, has he not made international appearances as well? So let me sort this blind out. Here we go. Blinding. Um, but Alanga, yeah, Alanga's played 12 uh, times for Sweden. International Manchester United player. What's going on? What is going on? There, There isn't a competent person that can sit there and demand the correct valuation. We overpay, we under-recoup, and there's absolute madness going It isn't worth its while for United to sell players because we're no good at it. We're honestly no good at it. I'd love to buy a car off United. I really would. They'd end up paying me. Anyway, the reports. Charlotte Docker. Forrest are working on a dual bring deal. Oh, sorry, a deal. To I don't know where I got dual from. just made it up. Uh, a deal to bring uh, a Langer. To the city ground, Simon Stones. Hang on, let's have a look at Nottingham Forest last year. What did they spend? Let's have a look at what Nottingham Forest paid for players last summer because I think they spent a lot last summer. And if they're going for that sort of cash, so last summer they spent they spent twenty nine million on Morgan Gibbs White. Spent 20 million on Danilo. They spent 20 million on Neko Williams. Right. Well, what level of experience did he have prior to uh, to joining Liverpool? Uh, 
basically fucking none. It, honestly, it, it's... I can't be the only person seeing this here. So Neko Williams played 33 games for Liverpool. Um, and was the same age, 21. Explain to me, somebody, and when did he make his Wales debut? A few years ago. So yeah, Neko Williams, similar one. What is going on? What, what is going on? Could anybody explain to me? Um, Jed says, because Alanga hasn't improved, simple as that. Alanga will look fine playing Premier League for somebody else in a team that's going to play on the counter. He'll look fine, I think. Fine. Uh, Neil says they are worth more for potential rather than damaged goods. Danny says, all the praise... For Murta, for a new United border, awful at buying and selling, need to go to Glazers. Uh, Patrick says, seems the United tax doesn't apply to buys, but sales too. We get absolutely mugged off, don't we? Is it not just completely frustrating? And people go, why are you ours? It's not your money. It, It's not my money, no, obviously. But I still get to see Manchester United fucked over because we overpay and we under-recoup. We get hampered by financial fair play, which seems to apply to us unlike half of the rest of the fucking league, which doesn't pay any attention to it whatsoever. Why aren't Arsenal fucked up by financial fair play? They've spent an absolute fucking arm and a leg recently. What is going on? We paid £50 million for Fred. And we're getting 20 for him. This is a guy that plays all the fucking time for Manchester United now. What the fuck is going on? Lies around me says, Chelsea make a lot of money from academy player sales. They do. And we obviously can't get the same sort of thing. Lucas says, because uh, the entire world know we need to sell to buy, so we're always in a desperate. Um, Jane says, taking a car out of the showroom, we'll buy for 20 million and lose half by taking it out. Yeah, we really are. Sky Sports are also saying that Everton have held initial talks with United over Alanga. Right. Here's what the, the deal should be now, right? Manchester United say, hey, you like Alanga. Hey, you like Alanga. Why don't you actually put some fucking money on the table that's worth me looking at and the fucking winner can take him? How's about that? Rather than getting mugged over, we're going to try and do it by whoever will pay the less. How's that work? Uh, Sun says it's mostly because United pay massive wages. Like United aren't the only ones paying massive wages. We're not the only ones that pay big wages. And I don't think Alanga's on big wages either, to be honest. Um, Aiden says it hampers United with FFP. Pay too much, sell for too little. <sighs> it, exactly that. Exactly that. Daniel says, Ed gave players stupid contracts and made us look like the transfer piñata that other clubs can smash open. Love it. Uh, Terry Cole says the answer is simple. Rubbish, incompetent negotiators. Facts. Uh... So Howian says Haaland's on 800 grand a week. Hey, he's on 800 grand a week that they've declared. Who knows what he's on that they haven't declared? Not saying that City wouldn't do anything that they don't declare, though, obviously. Roman says when United try and sell high, that's when we go out um, to buy and when we get taxed extra. I also think United let players go when they want to go. Yeah, but it's just an... It, it fucking annoys me. It, that's the that's the bottom line of it. It absolutely annoys me because it does impact what we're able to do when we when we're trying to buy at the other end. You know, I, I said yesterday, um, and I hope I've got something in this. In that, I, I like the fact that we're looking at Zion Suzuki as an option. Is it because I think he's amazing? No, I've done a scout report on him. I don't think he he's that amazing in all honesty. Um, like. I think he looks good. I think he's got potential. I think he's got a style that suits us. But I like the fact that we're going for someone that I'd never heard of last week. I like that. There should be way more of that. It doesn't seem United do enough of that. We seem to go with people everyone's already heard of. You know, that would be a great bargain buy for us. And there's been so many of those. United have got so much fucking work to do. Um... Keanu says, Alanga, Donny, Fred, Marshall should all be going for 20 million minimum. Yeah, facts. Uh, Magic Glove says, I doubt McTominay will go. Uh, we have loads of games. 
Yeah, I think one of Fred Orman and Tommy probably goes. I don't think both of them go. I think one of one of the two probably goes. Um, Tom says Fred costs should be fifty plus. He cost us fifty two, and we made him twice the player. He's nailed on for Brazil on one of the world's most competitive midfields. You said it. Jockey says the huge issue is the debt the Glazers place on the club. Remove the debt. The club doesn't need to recruit pennies for players. Uh, and a club that are better quality players than most other clubs. Yeah, it's madness. It's, it's fucking madness. Uh, Ryan says, pretty simple. We're stuck in a cycle that can now only be broken by a big change, i.e. ownership and changing of our top football brasses. Paul Mitchell will make us serious again. Um, yeah, I mean, on the sale, there's obviously nothing happening that I can see so far. Um in terms of the sale, it looks like it's gone quiet. I'm hoping it's gone quiet because they're finalizing the details. I don't have any evidence to that fact. I'm just hopeful. Um, and here's the thing. I was just having talking about this at lunch. United are going up now for sale. They've been up for sale pretty much once in my lifetime. Ownership has changed once in my lifetime. If United go to um, Sheikh Jassim, I don't think we'll ever be on the market again, ever. Certainly not in my lifetime. I think that'll be the last owner I ever see at United. Um, I don't know if that's the case, if it's Ineos, um, but I think that's why you're seeing a, a premium demanded and paid for a club that's probably worth half of what we're asking of it. Um, but the premium is being paid because of the brand that the Manchester United is, because of the, the luster that Manchester United is, and also because it probably is never going to be going for sale ever again. Philip says clubs can't afford to pay big transfer fees as well as matching wages that United players demand due to our dumb wage structure. Yeah, but not all of our players are on wage. Like Zidane wouldn't have been on fucking crazy wages, but he went for nothing. You know, Dylan Levitt went for absolute nothing. Uh, Joseph says, after watching Manu, looks like we may not need uh, Amrabat. Relax. Uh, we probably still do. John says, do I see it to, uh, Paul says, do we see a situation where we don't get a striker because of funds? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, Sal says Jimmy Garner single handedly got Forrest promoted, get sold for pennies, while Chelsea want 30 million for Conlon going to go Loftus cheek. Do you know what I mean? Um, Amaya says, well, we've got Fletcher Brothers from City, so yay. I mean, I don't know if they're any good. Danny says, FFP's bull excuse, sell well, um, and we can change most of the squad. Maguire out would have paid for Kim, McFred. At good prices could have brought in Casado. Exactly. Uh, he says it's a PR lie that we are hampered by FFP. No, I think FFP is a consideration. I think we're hampered by incompetence more than we're hampered by um, FFP. Because like, like you've just pointed out, you could actually get around FFP if you were competent and decisive enough. And I don't have the trust in the, the people doing this sort of stuff. They are... Um, potentially... If you bring in Onana, uh, Mount, uh, Hoyland, and Amrabat, I, I think that represents probably a pretty good window, but you probably could have done more. Rob, am I going north for the Leon game? I am not planning on going um, to Scotland for the Leon game because that afternoon we're getting on a plane to go to that there, New York. First time in New York. Um, or I believe as it's called locally, the Kingdom of Dwayne The Rock Johnshin. So we'll be going hanging out with John while we're over there. Um, first time in New York. Looking forward to it. Don't know if I'm going to get the chance to really taste proper New York, but um, I'll do my best. And the game's in New Jersey. Um, could we bring back podcasts for Paddock FC? Maybe now we've got um, a home venue, which is TBC, but um, that's what's held it back re recently is like, some of the places that we've played, that has been a problem. Um, Ian says, the problem we have is that we want to sell these players and we get taken to the cleaners. Spurs don't need to sell Kane or other players and we've screwed ourselves. It's all Woodward and the Glazers. Uh, Mayank says, Lampard said Mount would be a great signing for us. Really makes me worried as Super Frank hardly misses. Um, Jadap says, when are we getting on Nana? Now, here's the thing. Um... There was supposedly uh, updates today because they were all going back to um, training today at Inter. And there hasn't been the update. So I'm assuming it must be closed and they must just be finalising it all. 
Peter says Pog back again. He's nailed on to be going to Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Tom says uh, the problem at United, we're still shopping in Little, whilst the top teams are shopping at Waitrose. There isn't a chance we're getting Kane or Osman. Um, Daniel says, I'd rather we let them run down their contract than sell them. Shows a precedent if we let a player go for next to nothing. Um, Alex says, off topic, why has now given Noan Emeron uh, a shout? Uh, he was good against Leeds on the right. Um, I don't know. There's, I mean, there's a lot of academy lads that have, out, have, have had good seasons and, and good couple of years. It doesn't necessarily always translate to anything, but he's done himself no harm yesterday with a goal and an assist. Absolutely. Uh, Paul says we should totally walk away from the Hoyland deal. 85 million is madness. I don't know if that's what they're doing. Where bird, have I watched the Delhi Allen interview? No, someone told me about it this morning and it's been mentioned in the office in here today, but no, I haven't had a chance to watch it just yet. Who do I think we could sell to the Saudis? Oh my days. Uh, looking at Liverpool offloading Jordan Henderson, we could surely sell anyone to them. Surely. Nanu says, why can't we get uh, that lad from Leeds, the Italian lad on the left, uh, Willie Nonto? And he's gone, hasn't he? I don't know where he's gone. David says, Gibbs White was closer to 40 million. What the fuck? Am I going to come for United versus Arsenal in the US? Yes, I am. Um, and I believe Joel's over there as well. So we'll probably do something for five while we're out there. Alex says, sell Marshall, Maguire, McTominay and Fred to the Saudis. I mean, the player has a say in this as well. But, you know, I, I, can't, I can't imagine too many people turning it down all that much. The opportunity to go there would have been madness. Um, Sam says, what strike would I go for assuming a budget is 50 million? I, I think Hoyland at 50 million, to be honest with you. Um, Neil says powerful interview needs a watch also credit to Gary Noble yeah it does look good it does look good righty I'm going to wrap it up there I've got a few more videos to bank up ahead of tomorrow but cheers for joining us twice live today what's going on uh, I actually thought one of these lives would be talking about Onana getting sewn up alas not to be the case not this time around anyway but maybe the next time I see you live maybe we've got some news on Onana hopefully we've got some news on owners but either way take it easy and I'll see you in the next one, no matter what we're here for. See you in a bit. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms.